Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. It's almost the end of October, so you know what that means. Well, Halloween, but also it's cooling off, so time to pull out the crock pot. So, um, I bought a round steak, or they label them as London broil around here, and uh, I'm going to cook that in there with some potatoes and veggies. So, I think I better wash this first, though. <laughs> Just a little bit dusty. It hasn't been used in a while. So as soon as I get that clean, we'll get started. That's better. My crock pot's all clean and ready for crock pot season. So let's get started. I've added six cups of water to it. And also I'm adding three beef bouillon cubes. You add one cube per each two cups of water. So three beef bouillon cubes. You could use that beef broth in the box if you like. And uh, you could cut up an onion, but I'm just going to put some onion powder in there. It's not a whole lot left, so just dump it all in. Probably about a tablespoon or so, I guess. And a little bit of garlic uh, powder. It's pretty strong smelling garlic powder, so I'm not going to put a whole lot of that. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, and also I think I'll put a little Worcestershire sauce in there too. Just sprinkle just a little bit of that in. Uh, maybe a tablespoon or so, I don't know. Um, what else? Okay, there's my London broil right there. I think I'm going to cut that into pieces and uh, trim as much of the fat off it, of it as I can. Because I want this to be kind of like a soup or a stew. All right. This is one pound of baby carrots. Those are, I'm just gonna dump all those in. Um, I found this bag of little, uh, little baby potatoes. I think it's about a pound and three quarters. So I'm just gonna dump all those guys in there. If you don't, if you don't have these or you can't find these, you could just cut up regular potatoes. And I would guess that maybe four or five potatoes, however many you like. It really doesn't matter that much. Um, okay, what else? Um, okay, I have to cut up the steak. I have some celery here, but I have to cut up that. So probably about three stalks of that I'll cut up. And some green beans, these are already washed, but I'm gonna cut those into smaller pieces as well. So I'll be back in a minute. Here is what my London broil or top round steak looks like. And they always label it as London broil around here, but it's actually a top round steak. And this was a buy one, get one free. <laughs> Have to get back on my budget after <laughs> buying all those wild shrimp I used in some of those videos lately. <laughs> okay, this is a two pound piece of meat. So, um, as you can see, this one actually has a little more fat marbling through it than some of them. Looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to get that cut up. Okay, let's get the rest of the ingredients in there and get it cooking. Okay, green beans are all cut up and celery. That was 12 ounces of green beans. And if you don't like green beans, you don't have to put green beans in it. Uh, okay, meat. We'll get the meat in there. And um, I'm going to go ahead and stir that up a little bit and then we'll get the lid on there. Okay, this looks good. And this is going to need salt and pepper, but I usually add that at the end. So we'll get the lid on and turn that to low and we'll be back in probably about eight or ten hours. I let this cook for eight and a half hours on low and I just shut it off a little bit ago because everything seemed pork tender. That's all you want is everything to be tender. And uh, if you're going to cook this on high, I'm guessing it probably take like four or five hours. Starting to look a little more appetizing there now that I'm stirring it up. Didn't have a whole lot of color, but uh, now I just have to taste it and probably add a little salt and pepper to it. And um, I'll grab a bowl and we'll see how it turned out. Okay, let's see how this turned out. Meat's nice and tender, so you can just cut that apart with a spoon. This baby potatoes held up nicely in there too. Just cut those with a spoon. Carrots are tender. Get a little taste here. Get a little meat. 
That's good. And that little bit of Worcestershire I put in there gives it a nice little bit of extra flavor. So I'm happy with that. Hope you guys try that one. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. It's time to bring in the taste test, dog. Here you go, Annie.